Hi guys, this is Miss Griffith, and we're going to be going over assignment five. As in assignment four, we're going to be talking about making connections again. You guys have another informational text or article, and the title of it is for high school seniors, coronavirus brings a sad ending and unexpected lessons. Okay, so again, as before, making connections is I can relate to what's being talked about. We can all relate to what this pandemic is doing um, right now to our everyday school life. We guys, we, we don't get to be together in an actual classroom. We're talking to a lot of you guys via text, via email, Google Hangout. So we don't actually get to physically be together. There are lots of seniors that are graduating this year that are not going to have a traditional graduation because of social distancing rules, not having a lot of people in one place together. Many schools are actually having graduation online. My son is one of those. So instead of getting a, a chance to walk across a stage, they're actually going to have a digital graduation. Their picture will be put on a screen with all of their awards that they've gotten in high school, and it scrolls to the next student. Very unconventional, very unconventional. But we're going to explore how high school seniors are facing the consequences of the coronavirus pandemic. Many of you have siblings, many of you have cousins, um, family friends that are graduating and may not get to graduate the traditional way of graduating, which is walking across the stage and being congratulated by your principal, by school administrators, and you can hear your parents yelling your name out in the audience. Many seniors are not going to get to experience that. Many high school seniors will not have a traditional graduation, as I said, and this is all due to social distancing rules. You, as a student in summer school, can't attend a brick and mortar school to receive instruction. So you can't come to Bonham and sit in a classroom and Ms. Griffith teaches you. I want you to think about how have you as a student been affected by the changes you have had to make to receive your education. Okay. So in this article that we have, after you are done reading your article, I'm going to fast forward over to your questions. And you guys have a quick quiz at the end, which looks like this. You have a total of one, two, three, four multiple choice questions to ask. Okay. You'll answer those questions. And there you have it. Let's read question number one so you can kind of get an idea of what type of questions they're going to be asking you. It says, which paragraph from the article best supports the conclusion that seniors are applying things they learned in school to get through to get them through the pandemic. If you notice, you have choices here: it's A, B, C, D, A, B, C, and D. If you notice, these are also quotes from the text. They want to know which one of these quotes, which one of these paragraphs from the article best supports this conclusion. There is a conclusion. The conclusion is that this whole article is about seniors are applying things that they learned in school to get them through the pandemic. Okay? Be that doing online learning. When you guys make it to the high school, you'll notice that a lot of your classes have a lot of online components. You'll be doing a lot of your work online. Okay? So all of those things that these high school seniors have been learning in high school, they're having to apply those things outside of, of class now. They are. They don't have a choice. They have to use technology to stay in touch with their teachers and make sure that they actually do graduate and get that wonderful diploma that they've been working so hard for. Okay? If you notice, this one actually gives you quotes from the text. Okay? You don't have to, you do have to make an inference, but they've already given you a head start by actually putting something from the text to back up this conclusion that they've put here for you. Okay, so you'll be answering questions one through four. Again, they are all multiple choice. Please call or email me. Should you need help or assistance, I do not mind. I want you to do your best, and you guys have a great one.